this is how Minecraft looks without any texture packs. And I would say it's pretty boring. So today, to spice things up, I'm going to show you some awesome texture packs that you probably didn't even know about. We'll go from the least detailed meme packs to the most realistic texture packs that you have ever seen. So sit tight and let's get right into it. The first one is called MS Paint, and it is exactly what you think. The whole texture pack was drawn in MS Paint with only the 20 built in colors, so that itself is already pretty impressive. It's super fun to look around using this pack, and even though it's done in paint, I would say it looks pretty nice. I especially love the tool and hot bar with all the small images that are there. Even all the paintings are redrawn, so it kinda looks it was done by a 5 year old. I love all the drawings in this pack and if you want to have a little bit of fun, this is the pack for you. The links to all the packs will be down in the description. But now, the meme texture pack. This is a pretty funny one. As you can see, lots of the block textures have been replaced with random memes. And some of them are pretty good. It's pretty fun to explore around and find all the memes. And I have to mention that this probably took quite a lot of time to make. The pack is 45% finished and is being regularly updated. So make sure to check it out if you want a bit of a laugh. But next up we have something a bit more practical. And this one is called the bare bones. And that is exactly that, a simplistic and vibrant version of the Minecraft default textures. This is for everyone who likes a more simple looking Minecraft. And I like it because it doesn't ruin the game by changing up the textures completely. It just makes the game a bit more unique. It kind of reminds me of the look in Roblox. So if you're into that, check it out. Next up we have the Tooniverse. The point of this texture pack is to look as cartoonish as possible and I think they were successful with that goal. This texture pack really feels like you are in a cartoon. It is the most cartoonish pack I've found and it looks great. The drawings are very high quality and the colors are just vibrant enough without looking blown out. And also if you look at the sky it is really hard to be sad when playing with this texture pack. So if you enjoy the cartoonish look give it a try. But now something for the creators. This one is called the creator pack and it is a bit more detailed version of the regular Minecraft textures. It is kind of meant for creators who build stuff but it also looks super nice when just playing in survival. It doesn't really change the textures but instead makes them more detailed. It is perfect for medieval style but also works well with more modern buildings. The pack is so low key that you won't even notice it from far away. Another similar looking pack that you might know is Faithful. So if you like this low key look, make sure to check one of them out. But now, let's see something a bit round next. And this one is called the Roundista. At first, you might not be able to even tell the difference, but if you look closer, you can see that everything is a bit more round than usual. This is one of my favorites in this video. It just looks so clean. I love how you first can't even notice it. Using shaders also adds a small amount of depth into the textures, and that looks awesome. And since it's a fairly new texture pack, new textures are added regularly until all of them are done. Demo version is a nice way to test out the pack and see if you even like it. And if you do, then you can support the creator with a couple of dollars and get a more updated premium version. But next, we have something even more HD. This one is called the Primes HD. This is a texture pack that increases the resolution of Minecraft default textures all the way up to 512 by 512. And as the name suggests, it really is HD. 
though some of the textures are not done yet and missing, so keep that in mind. Overall the look is more cartoonish than it is realistic, so if you like the details but don't want the game to be too realistic, then this is for you. The 32x32 32 32 version is free, but if you want more details, it costs a bit of money. And not only that, you also need a pretty beefy PC to run the max resolution smoothly. But now, something for the LEGO fans. This one is called the Brixel. As you might have already guessed, it is a texture pack meant to mimic the LEGO bricks. There are lots of similar texture packs, but this one is by far the best one in my opinion. Using it with shaders adds depth to the LEGO textures and it is just amazing. I could just keep on running around looking at different blocks and it's completely free as well and has different resolutions. But as good as it looks, it also requires a pretty fast PC. I even managed to crash my game while playing around with this texture pack so be careful not to burn down your PC and use the lower resolution option if you don't have a fast enough computer. But now we have a pack called the Ultra Realism. It is the most popular realism texture pack there is and I mean for a reason. Just have a look at this. My PC is struggling pretty hard so sorry for all the dropped frames. Look at the texture of the log for example. Honestly it looks better than real life and everything else also is just amazing. It might even be too realistic for my liking. Anyway I'll let you enjoy these couple of clips. But yeah, if you like it, you can support the creator and get it on his Patreon. But now, moving on with the realism. We have the pack called Not Another Photorealistic Pack. This is another photorealistic pack here and it looks damn amazing. The thing I love about this is the ores. Just have a look at those. The 3D looks amazing. Also the tiles on the walls and ground. Compared to the ultra realism pack that we looked before, this one has more of that cartoonish look. So a bit more game like instead of looking more real life. This pack is also not fully finished so keep that in mind. But the development is ongoing and updates are made regularly. But now, this one is called the Realism Mats and it is the most realistic Minecraft resource pack ever made. And it is probably the best realistic texture pack that I have also seen. Although running a 1024 pixel resolution is probably a bit harsh on your PC. Everything is well polished and just looks so interesting and cool. The small downside is that this pack costs 7 euros. But I mean, have a look. I can't even imagine how much work went into this. It also supports ray tracing, which is pretty unique in my opinion. They also have a website that has a lot more info about the pack, so if you're interested, you can check it out. But I am pretty blown away by this. I hope you found some cool new texture packs to try out, and I will see you next time. See ya!